Celebrating more than 40 years and with offices around the globe, GeoConsult of Austria has worked on an impressive list of infrastructure projects, including the Large Hadron Collider Machine Hall Cabins at CERN in Geneva, for which the company won the Austrian National Award for Consulting in 2001, the Waterloo Station Caverns on the Jubilee Line extension of the London Underground, several major contracts on the Santiago Metro in Chile, and the 32-kilometer-long twin-tube high-speed rail tunnel between Graz and Klagenfurt in Austria. Our strength uh, is, is geotechnical engineering for foundations, slopes, tunneling of course. Overseas we are, we are best known as NADM tunnelers. A reputation established with the ambitious construction of the long highway tunnels through the Alps south of Salzburg in Austria. Excavation so challenging in 1967 that it requires a new approach, one that will become known as the new Austrian tunneling method or NATM. NATM was already established at that time, but not in such difficult uh, conditions. So Professor Johann Golser right was fresh out of university at the time and, and looking for work. My professor for soil mechanics, he said, Professor Bacher is looking for young engineers because he got the contract for the design of big tunnels through the Alps. That was a town in the Katschberg tunnel. So I took the train next day, went to Salzburg to Bacher's office and was engaged the same day. The success of the tunnels helps establish NATAM as a flexible, cost-effective alternative to the heavy steel support method of the day, an elegant approach that relies on a fundamental understanding of rock mechanics to minimally disturb the rock and limit deformations, essentially using the rock itself to support excavation. Following these early tunnels, Golser signs up for the design of the massive Tabela Dam project in Pakistan on the Hindus in the early 70s. You no, know, at that time, Tabela was the biggest uh, hydro uh, project in the world. And uh, so I worked then as a consultant there. And uh, during that time also, we established GeoConsult together with a colleague, Hackel. That was in 73. First employed in hard rock, NATAM is quickly adapted to soft ground tunnels in urban settings and exported around the world. The company flourishes as the demand for experienced NATAM engineers grows. The Salzburg-based firm introduces NATAM to Japan, Taiwan and Korea and to the U.S. market in the 80s on the Mount Lebanon Tunnel in Pittsburgh. GeoConsult is engaged to present an alternative design to one already submitted by a competing firm. And the decision was both designs will be put on the table for tendering. Yeah? And with NATM we were much cheaper and it has been done with NATM. It was the first in the United States. Yeah? And then we went to South America. And also to the UK, where the company suffered a major setback when the Heathrow Airport Express tunnels collapsed in October 1994. A subsequent trial found GeoConsult and the contractor at fault a verdict the firm vigorously challenged and still maintains that the fault lies not with it or the NATAM design, but with the self-certification contract and poor execution of the works. Sir Alan Moore Wood said, the only mistake you made was not to terminate the contract with the contractor once you realized that he does not follow your advice. Since then, GeoConsult has settled the case and is keen to bring its design expertise back to the UK market. Because it is a big market, it's an, an, an interesting market, and we believe that we can positively contribute. Today, after 40 years of excellence and still family-owned, and with more than 300 engineers worldwide, GeoConsult continues to push geotechnical advancements and underground design.